Close to the Sun lies Mercury, the very first planet that solar radiation encounters on its journey through space, and it's the first stop on our grand tour of the solar system. Right now, Mercury is about 205 million kilometers from Earth, roughly 11 light minutes away. That means Mercury, at this moment, is actually farther from us than the Sun, whose light takes only 8 minutes to reach our planet. Mercury is currently at one of the farthest points in its orbit from Earth. The universe is so vast that even light traveling at an incredible speed takes around 11 minutes to get from Earth to Mercury. Let's head to Mercury. With today's spacecraft, the journey to Mercury would take at least two and a half months. But we're not bound by current technology. We'll travel at many times the speed of light and arrive in just a few seconds. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the closest planets to the Sun and the only terrestrial planets with solid, rocky surfaces. On average, Mercury orbits about 58 million kilometers from the Sun, almost three times closer than Earth. So far, Mercury has been studied by only two planetary probes, Mariner 10, launched in 1973, and Messenger, launched in 2004. Throughout human history, only two missions have visited Mercury, with a third one on the way, Depi Colombo, scheduled to arrive in 2025. Among these missions, only Messenger successfully entered orbit around Mercury. The Mariner 10 used Venus to adjust its trajectory and made a few flybys of Mercury before losing control. Today, its remains still orbit the Sun. Mercury is the smallest planet orbiting the Sun. Its diameter is 4,880 kilometers, slightly larger than Earth's moon. And it has almost 20 times less mass than Earth. It's even smaller than some of the moons in our solar system. Ganymede, Jupiter's largest moon and the biggest moon in the entire solar system, along with Titan, Saturn's largest moon, both surpass Mercury in size. Yet Mercury is more massive than both. At first glance, Mercury's surface might remind you of our moon, with its countless craters and grayish hue. Mercury isn't truly monochromatic. Its surface is speckled with shades of gray and beige, with lighter streaks believed to be high in graphite, the same material found in pencil leads. The planet is also covered in craters, ancient scars left by space debris crashing into its unprotected surface. Sometimes, asteroids collide with previously impacted areas, creating overlapping craters from different eras. This leads to one of Mercury's most fascinating features, the ray systems. These bright, spider-like lines radiate from certain craters and can stretch over 400 kilometers across the planet's surface. Their lighter color indicates material that was ejected during impacts material with less graphite or a different chemical composition than Mercury's sun-baked surface. Some of these ray systems likely formed from extremely powerful impacts, with rays extending almost entirely around the planet. Mercury's ray systems even outshine those of our moon, which are much smaller in comparison. Mercury is composed of approximately 70% metallic materials and 30% silicates, the minerals that form rocks. Because of this composition, Mercury has the second highest density in the solar system, at 5.4 grams per cubic centimeter. It's second only to Earth, which has a density of 5.5 grams per cubic centimeter. If Mercury were the same size as Earth, its surface gravity would be nearly identical. But with its small size, Mercury's surface gravity is just 3.7 meters per second squared. A 
person weighing 70 kilograms on Earth would feel like they weigh only 25 kilograms on Mercury. Its gravity is slightly weaker than Mars's, despite Mars being a much larger planet. Mercury's massive iron core is actually larger than Earth's core and takes up nearly the entire volume of the planet, leaving only a thin mantle and crust as its outer layers. In essence, Mercury is a metal sphere covered with a thin, rocky shell. This oversized core exists because Mercury was once a larger planet. A colossal collision stripped away much of its outer layers, leaving behind the dense world we see today. Mercury's surface also bears the marks of volcanic activity. Massive impacts once triggered volcanic eruptions that flooded its craters and basins with lava. The intense gravitational pull of the nearby Sun made incoming objects hit Mercury with far more force than the planet's own gravity could produce. This gravitational bombardment, intensified by the Sun's proximity, has shaped Mercury's uniquely scarred surface. Mercury's gravity is so weak compared to the Sun's that it often fails to capture passing objects into orbit. Mercury has an incredibly thin atmosphere, almost non-existent. What little atmosphere it does have is composed of trace amounts of oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium. But the density is so low that it barely behaves like a gas at all. This sparse atmosphere cannot retain the heat from the sun-facing side of the planet. As a result, Mercury holds the record for the most extreme temperature variation of any planet in the solar system. While one side bakes under the scorching sun, the other side freezes in darkness. The sun-facing side can reach blistering temperatures of 430 degrees Celsius, while the dark side can drop to an icy minus 180 degrees Celsius. One of the most fascinating things about Mercury is its orbit and rotation. The closer a planet is to the Sun, the faster it orbits. Mercury zips around the Sun at an astonishing 48 kilometers per second. That's 170,000 kilometers per hour. A day on Mercury is nothing like a day on Earth. It takes Mercury 59 Earth days to complete one rotation on its axis, but it orbits the Sun in just 88 Earth days. Because of Mercury's rapid orbit, it appears to reverse its direction in the night sky several times a year from Earth's perspective. This is what we call Mercury's retrograde motion. Mercury's orbit is constantly shifting. In the early 20th century, astronomers struggled to predict Mercury's exact orbital path. The math just didn't add up. It wasn't until Einstein's theory of general relativity came along that we understood why. Mercury's close proximity to the Sun means that its orbit is affected by the warping of space-time. As Mercury speeds up near its closest point to the Sun, its position shifts slightly each orbit, creating a path that resembles a delicate, swirling pattern of petals. Mercury has the most eccentric orbit of any planet in the solar system. Its distance from the Sun varies dramatically from 46 million kilometers at its closest point to 70 million kilometers at its farthest. A Mercury year lasts only 88 Earth days. But due to its unusual rotation, Mercury has a 3 2 resonance meaning it rotates three times on its axis for every two orbits around the Sun. This strange synchronization creates a fascinating effect. A single solar day on Mercury, from one sunrise to the next, lasts about 176 Earth days, twice as long as its own year. And since Mercury rotates so slowly, the way the Sun moves across its sky is unlike anything seen on any other planet. This combination of slow rotation and fast orbit creates an incredible illusion. Let's land on Mercury to witness this bizarre phenomenon firsthand. Because of Mercury's weak gravity and rapid orbital speed, it's extremely difficult for spacecraft to enter orbit around it. 
that's one of the biggest challenges in sending missions to this planet. Since Mercury is three times closer to the Sun than Earth, our star would appear three times larger in the sky and shine seven times brighter. Let's fast forward time to observe this incredible solar motion. Watch carefully. The Sun rises quickly. Then, near midday, it slows down. Stops. Moves backward for a bit. And then resumes setting. This entire process takes almost a full Mercury year, meaning that one Mercury night also lasts nearly an entire year. Let's watch it again. The sun rises quickly. Then, near midday, it slows down. Stops. Moves backward for a bit. and then resume setting. Incredible. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe to not miss the next journeys into space. This is the first of a series about the solar system. We will visit the main planets, the dwarf planets, planetoids, their moons, and main asteroids. In the next one, we will visit the hottest planet in the solar system. Thanks for watching and see you on the next Star Trip.